Morning guys. Okay, so today we're talking about made to measure suits. Building your first online suit and the four things you need to know to make sure that you look your best when you get your custom suits. I'm Andrew Wise with Life Tailored and we talk about style, travel, and everything that makes your life great. Make sure to subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram at Life Tailored. So six years ago I moved to New York and I'd never bought a suit for myself. So what I did is I went into J. Crew. I picked out something from the rack, picked out a shirt, picked out a tie, and did a couple alterations. And overall, I was just kind of meh with what I got. I ended up spending near $1,000. I didn't know anything about lapels, I didn't know anything about pockets, or button cuffs, or anything. So what I kind of wished is somebody had given me their knowledge and said, hey, before you walk into the suiting store, here's what you need to know. And that's why I created this video. I wanted to share with you my six years of style knowledge and put it down into a quick video going into ordering your first custom suit that you're going to be really happy with what you get. So for one, you want to plan for a specific occasion. Envision how you see yourself. So picture yourself at that wedding. Maybe you're looking to meet someone. Maybe you're just looking to look good in front of your friends and family. Or maybe at that business meeting. How are you going to get the client to say yes? How are you going to convince your boss to give you that promotion? Envision yourself in these scenarios and kind of take a look down and see what you're going to be wearing. Is it going to be a black suit? Is it going to be blue? Is it... Now what sort of details do you see yourself in? So that's kind of where I start whenever I begin ordering any sort of online or custom garment or any sort of clothes in general. So once you have this vision of how you kind of see yourself, you next want to create a image inventory. On Instagram, what I like to do is whenever I see a cool look, I bookmark it. And then when I'm going to order a custom suit or a piece of clothing, I reference what was in that look. You know, did the guy have flat pockets on his jacket? Did he have patch pockets? Were his lapels peak? Were they narrow? What sort of details kind of stood out to me and made me think, wow, this looks good, so that I could reference them later. So this kind of moves on to the third point. When building your custom suit, there are a lot of customizations. There's maybe 40 or 50 different things you can do, and it can get confusing and overwhelming. So since you have your kind of image inventory here, it has the answers to these questions about customization. So in customizing your suit, I think there are five different options to choose from pockets. You can have regular flat pockets, you can have angled flat pockets, you can have a second flat pocket, you can have pockets with no flap, you can have non-functioning pockets with no flap, there's just a ton of different questions and it's honestly just way too much. Final thing is when building your suit, you want to keep it simple. So this is going to be a big investment for you and you want to make sure you get the best ROI out of it. And the way you do that is you don't make a suit that's going to be super trendy, that's going to go out of style in a year or two. You want to build a simple suit that's going to be part of your wardrobe that you can wear for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So the way you do that is you stick to these sort of basics. One, the fabric and color you choose should be black, blue, dark gray, and no wild prints or colors or patterns. You want to go for the regular lapels. Make sure they're not a little wider, but the semi in between. So they're skinny, there's, I guess, what's considered modern, which is the regular, and then the wider lapels. Just stick to the medium. You want to make sure your suit has two buttons. You want to make sure your belt has regular belt loops. You want to have no pleats in your pants and no cuff on your pants. But since this is a custom suit, you do want to make it unique and you want to stand out and let other people know that this has been built just for you. So the things I like to customize are a monogram on the inside. So in Indochino, you can customize two different lines. I write down life tailored, you know, pretty simple stuff. I like to add functioning button cuffs on here, which allows you to see that this suit has been tailor made and it's not something off the rack. And then finally, I sometimes add a pattern to the inside of the jacket, which will add a nice sort of detail. And it's not for everyone, but certain guys like this sort of uh, aspect to it. So now that we know what to look for in our made to measure suit, let's talk about one of my favorite online suiting companies, Indochino. They happen to be the sponsor of this video. So if you appreciate this content, support the sponsor. Thank you so much. So the reason I love Indochino is one, the value is fantastic. So I saw in the news that Paul Manafort spent a million dollars on suits, which regardless what you think about the guy is a lot of money to spend on suits. When you go to a place like Indochino, you can spend 300 to 500 and get a completely custom made suit. 
Granted, the fabric and the quality isn't going to be up there with a ten or fifteen thousand dollar suit, but to me, for three hundred to five hundred bucks, that's a lot of value you're getting. So the one issue I had with online suiting companies was that you always had to measure yourself at home, and it was really hard. I've been doing this style stuff for six years. And even I don't know how to measure my suit. So what Indochino did is they opened up around 30 showrooms all across the US. So for guys like me and maybe guys like you, you can just walk into the showroom and they'll take all your measurements for you. What's nice about this is once you have your measurements in their system, whenever you need to buy a new shirt or pants or jacket, you just go in there, the measurements are already there and you customize everything you want. And finally, I love the customizations that Indochino offers. So I'm building a Halloween costume that's going to be based on the Netflix documentary Wild Wild Country. One of the lawyers in there wears a purple or maroon sort of suit and I'm taking the images from there and I'm trying to find a double breasted suit that I can wear. And I spent a good hour on Indochino's site looking for a double breasted jacket but they didn't have it. They had maybe two or three looks and they didn't really like them. But what I found out is when I was building another suit on there I could switch the buttons from two buttons to six buttons, and six buttons are double-breasted. So suddenly their entire inventory could be double-breasted, which to me is a really you know, kind of cool customization. So real quick, the other customizations I always kind of add when I'm on Indochino is I put side tabs on my pants. And basically what this allows you to do is tighten or loosen the pants. So what I typically find is when I go to a wedding, a three day wedding, I start off with the side tabs pulled really tight. By day two or three, as I've ate and drank and had a good time, I tend to loosen them. So instead of having a belt that's either gonna be too big or too loose, I like these side tabs. Plus with airline security, what it is, I try to avoid wearing a belt whenever possible when I'm traveling. So just to recap, what I love about Indochino is the value, the showrooms, and the customizations. So now that you guys are ready to build your own made to measure suit, just make sure to remember these four things. First, plan out your specific occasion you're gonna wear the suit to. Find your style inspiration, be it on Instagram, TV, movies, etc., And be prepared for those customization questions based on your style inspiration. And keep that suit simple to start. So if you enjoyed this guide, make sure to subscribe below, follow me on Instagram, at LifeTailored, and make sure to watch out for the next video. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.